Hey, so what's up guys, Matt here with Dry Tech, back again with another video for you guys and today I got something really special and it's right behind me. This is the Startron Mini X which just arrived two days ago and thanks to Star Wheels Malaysia for giving me a review unit to actually talk about the test and to give my honest opinion. So without further ado, let's get this video started. <music> Alright guys, so here we have the Mini X from Star Wheels and it's great to see that Star Wheels has actually come a long way and, and they have done a lot of improvements to their products. This design of course is not unique only to the Startron Mini X but it has some refinements which I really do like like the 10 inch wheels on the front and the rear so it's 10 inch and these are all terrain tires which means you can ride it on both dry and wet as well as off-road terrain which means it's a very good all-round tyre as compared to the Demon and the Mega which I currently own those are more suitable for dry roads because they are more towards uh, slick tyres however this has the best balance something like what you get on mountain bikes let me give you a closer look at the tyres but before we get into all the hardware let me go through the specifications so this e-scooter has double motors so 2000 watts right here it has a double hydraulic suspension front and rear in my opinion this suspension is much better than the demon in terms of handling and also it's the right spring rate so i'm also upgrading my demon to this type of suspension so let me give you a closer look at the motors right here and the back as well and this has also double disc brakes so front and rear disc brakes let me give you a closer look these are not hydraulic disc brakes these are cable disc brakes so of course you're not going to get the same level of braking performance as the demon and the mega of course those cost a lot more this only retails for 5199 ringgit so let me give you a closer look at the rear as well you can see right here um looks really really good Close look at the brand if you want to check that out Alright, so overall, I've been riding this for a couple of uh, hours now. I just got it yesterday. And the handling, everything is really good. Of course, the design, I love the design. But of course, it's much heavier because of all the extra details and the metal. But it is very well balanced. Alright, so let's see the small touches they have done to the Mini X. So on the side here, we get a nice Mini X logo right here. So on the side, we get the Startron backlit logo so this is really nice i'll be showing you that later on the rear as well we have a uh, led brake lights so nothing really out of the ordinary but it's also very nice and neat touches so i do like it very much all right so let's get into the electronics right here we have a very nice and new controller so this is uh, not a remote controlled system so this is a key system right, so when i turn on the key right here you get a very faint uh, idea of your battery voltage and on this new module i love this new module in fact it's so much better and so much clearer let me give you a closer look let me turn it on right here you can see right here is super clear as compared to the previous models which i have reviewed so good job star wheels so you get the gear right here which is basically the basically the speed in in terms of the previous controllers so this is the gear means the top speed it controls the maximum top speed which you can go this is your speed and this is the number of kilometers traveled and your battery percentage so it's overall very nice so i love it that you can actually change the top speed right here instead of actually clicking on the power button and then changing the modes and then accepting is a lot of hassle to do that however this is very simple of course it's in kilometers per hour because we're in malaysia let me go on to the button so this is your horn which is actually not really a horn because it's, uh, it sounds pretty bad in my opinion i wish they gave a better horn that's not even a horn to me um, and then you have the lights this controls the front light which you have right here of course this is going to be changed in the later models this is actually a very new batch so right here so that powers on the lights and you know as uh, all the other e-scooters you have eco and turbo mode so right here you can click in for eco and click out for turbo similar to the the bottom you can select your motor so single or dual right here very simple just click on it you're good to go however i do wish there were some lights to indicate what mode you're on this doesn't have but 
I do like it. I do like it. It feels more durable. Uh, it depends on personal preference. So we have nice uh, wide handle bar grips. Brakes which are in fact very good. So let's just take a look at the stem itself. So you can see Mini X. Then you get your triple locking system. So one lock here, one lock here and one more here to actually fold. And then you get a nice uh, board with the Startron logo. This is a sandpaper so you prevent you from slipping, your leg from slipping. And you also get the Startron logo at the side which is backlit, same as the other side. Get a kickstand. On the back you have a nice metal mud flap which actually I do like the new design. You can see the tyres close up, the suspension close up. Overall, very nice touches. This is really, really solid and heavy. I was not expecting the weight when I actually carried it out of my car. And one more thing I do like about this uh, scooter is that the size. The size is just nice for even medium-sized cars. You can actually put it into the booth with no problems at all. Very compact size. Good for cruising. Of course, not for enthusiasts. Enthusiasts, definitely, I would suggest you to get the Mega or the Demon. Those will actually suit your needs. But for the casual daily user, the commuter, this is definitely a very good scooter and it's not too expensive as well for the price you're getting really really good hardware all right so the range on this is about 60 to 70 kilometers on one charge so it depends on what mode you're riding on of course whether you are climbing up hills or doing something very off-roady so it depends on how you are riding the scooter and by the way to mention there's a bell here i don't know why they need a bell here i don't know but it it looks good it's just seamless you won't even bother about this so it sounds like this bicycle bell sound so I'm I don't really use I would prefer to use this right here even though it sounds as bad the top speed on this uh, okay the top speed is where your weight comes into play because the top speed mentioned is that it goes up to 70 kilometers per hour but in reality for my weight I'm about 90 plus kg 95 to 96 kg it goes to about 55 to 56 kilometers per hour which is not bad I mean this is the perfect cruiser but of course, we are talking about the maximum speed it can go at speed 3. That it goes up to 55 to 56 kilometers per hour. So it's not too fast, but it's not too slow either. It's just nice. And the handling on this, the traction, everything is really good. So it's an all-rounder, in my opinion. In fact, if you compare the Demon, Demon cornering-wise, handling is not so good. But of course, the speed is there. I wish they had this setup, but with the Demon power, that would be perfect. Well, star wheels, you can take note of that. Also, let's take a look at the front. You can see, very nice and solid. However, there's a drawback with this new stem design because you're not able to raise or lower the handlebar. So the only way to raise it slightly is to actually adjust this, uh, this mounting right here, which is not something I recommend because the handlebar is actually, if you look at it from an angle, it's actually very much towards uh, your body, which is not really good for stability, I should say please prefer something that is uh, more forward so if you're going to remove the handlebar higher which means you have to actually move everything backwards closer to you so I wouldn't recommend that I would suggest you just changing it to another handlebar mounting or something that will actually work much better all right so this is also water resistant of course you're not going to be using this in a the flood there's no way you will survive but this is water resistant which means you can get splashes you can get caught in the rain and it will still work all right so let's talk about charging this scooter has a dual port charger so right here but however i was only provided with one and i was also told that you can charge it with one because both cells are actually linked together so you can see the port right here so it's able to sustain the amperage and the voltage as well so no worries right here so even though you see the port is a bit small for this uh, huge scooter right here but there won't be any issues because i actually tested and charged it last night to make sure everything was good okay guys so i've taken out the the back and put it to the side because i want to show you how the handlebar feels but also there's also a star wheels emblem right here so you can see it's very neat without the back i would suggest you putting a back at the bottom here is much better it looks much better as well all right, so how do you fold the handlebars? It's not like the earlier system where you pull the ends and then you fold down. This, however, is screwed on. So this, in my opinion, is way more durable. I, I love this design as it will be longer lasting, I should say, because there's no like moving springs and stuff like that. This one, you just have to twist this part all the way to the end and just fold it down. 
as simple as that. But of course, the folding is not like a 90 degree folding. This is about, um, just say, a f less than 45 degree folding, which is not bad overall. Uh, it's compact enough because considering the width of this uh, scooter, it's a very nice touch. I, I do wish I could change to this kind of handlebar, but of course, considering that this is a very new stem, so I would definitely not be able to do that. But anyway, it is what it is. Okay, let me show you the folding now. So there are three steps to folding this scooter. First, you have this bottle opener looking thing. So you have to flip it back. Then you release the first clip, first lock, I should say. And then at the bottom here, you have one more. And last but not least, you can actually release this handle to fold. Right, so guys, just like that, you have folded the scooter. So it's very simple. And it's also pretty compact, you can see the size, it's not that high. Alright guys, so before I show you some riding footage, let me show you how to on the rear lamps. So you have to power on your controller of course. Then once you've done that, all you need to do is hold the mode button. For a couple of seconds, you can see the lights are on. So let me show you on the back. And on the side as well, you can see the Startron logo, so it's very nice at night. And the brake lights actually flash, something like this. So it's very nice and bright at night especially, so you won't have a problem with uh, cars unable to see you. You can see the side as well, very nice, il nicely illuminated. I do like the overall fit and finish. Of course, the weight-wise, not something that I really like. But it is what it is, of course, heavier weight means better stability at faster speeds. So it's a trade-off. Alright, so let me show you some footage and I hope you did like this video. Uh, if you did like this video, hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. I'll be bringing you guys more riding footage of my scooters when my demon comes back because I'm still waiting for the suspension to be done. So that's all for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.